hey, what's going on, you guys? I hope you guys are doing well, and hopefully you guys are staying safe. Now, what I want to talk about in this video is just helping you understand your thoughts and your relationship when it comes to money. Because I know a lot of people are probably stressing out right now because they're not able to go to work, and basically they don't know how they're going to start making money to pay their bills. So this video is just going to be about having the right mindset. Now, if you're somebody who's trying to become successful or just trying to make more money in general, I mean, having the right mindset is going to be the foundation for your success. So maybe you might be somebody who's starting your own business. Maybe you're just trying to make some money on the side with a side hustle, or maybe you're just trying to get a promotion or a raise at your job. If you're trying to reach the next level when it comes to success, you need to have the right mindset for that. Because when it comes to success, there's the mechanics, meaning the how-tos, what you need to do, what steps that you need to take in order to get to that next level. Maybe it might be creating a website for your business. Maybe it might be showing up earlier to work in order to get that raise or that promotion. And then there's the dynamics, which not many people really talk about. So basically, this is the mentality that you need to have in order to reach success. So having the right mentality is going to allow you to remove any mental blocks that's going to keep you from reaching success or, in this case, making more money. So the main thing that people pretty much struggle with when it comes to making more money is that they're worried about it. And worrying is just a thought that you believe. So if you're constantly telling yourself, I don't have enough money, then you're going to start to believe that over time. You need to actually sit down and ask yourself, what am I worried about? And more than likely, it might just be having a scarcity mindset. Maybe you might just be telling yourself that there just isn't enough money to go around, but that's just simply not true. You see, when you start to worry about money or anything in general for a long time, then it starts to become a habit. Before you know it, you're just constantly worrying about that thing that you're thinking about. And you're just constantly just stressing yourself out. You need to give yourself permission to change your thought patterns. I mean, one tip that I have for you guys is just to discover how your mind works. You need to become aware of your thoughts and just let negative thoughts pass by. Don't just try to block out negative thoughts altogether because that's going to be like almost impossible. Just recognize when you have negative thoughts enter into your mind and just let them pass by. Don't hold on to them. And you shouldn't be stressing yourself out about negative thoughts that you're having. If you find yourself just constantly thinking negative thoughts, just recognize that they're negative thoughts and don't believe them. Just let them go because eventually you're going to start thinking about something else. Another tip that I would recommend for you guys to do is just explore your thought patterns. Even if it means sitting down and writing it on a piece of paper, what you're constantly worried about. So if you're somebody who's worried about money constantly, just sit down and write it on paper. What are you worried about? Then ask yourself, what's the cause of that worry? This is where you start to dig a little bit deeper into how your mind actually works. Then when you answer that, just ask yourself, what's the solution? So what actions can you take to solve that, uh, that worry, basically? Then ask yourself, what can you do now to take action? Then once you do that, just ask yourself, what's the worst that can happen? Because when you address those fears, they don't seem like a big deal as they were before. I would say that negative thoughts, they never actually happen. And even if they do happen, you're living that negative thought twice if you're worrying about it. Because first, you're letting it worry and stress out your mind, and then you're just living that negative experience in real life. Now, usually when it comes to worrying about money, this all has to do with fear. The thought patterns that you have right now they exist because they have some type of emotional connection tied to them. Just to give you guys an example, if I were to ask you what you ate two weeks ago, you probably don't remember because there was more than likely no emotional connection tied to that. But if I were to ask you what was your very first car that you bought, more than likely you're going to remember even if it was like five or ten years ago. Because you remember that emotional connection that you had when you were first driving down the road, you had the steering wheel in your hands and it felt good. Now most people, they might not want to address the worries that they have in the back of their mind because it might seem scary to them or it might just feel overwhelming. But you need to feel those emotions fully. You need to stop resisting them. Because when you do that, you start to realize that they're not such a big deal. Now one last tip that I want to share with you guys is that you need to live in the present moment. And you also need to be more mindful of your thoughts. If you're just constantly worried about tomorrow or what's going to happen next week, I mean, you're not living in the present moment. And you're basically stressing yourself out and you're not, I mean, taking advantage of what you have and what you can do right now. You need to tell yourself, it's okay to not know what's going to happen next, but you shouldn't be afraid of your thoughts. I just want to let you guys know this. When you're stressing out and you're worried about something, you can't allow yourself to be creative and it's harder for you to make decisions. Most people can't make hard decisions because they're worried or they're stressed about something else. A perfect example is right now most people aren't working and 
maybe they have a little bit of money saved up instead of like investing that money into starting their own business they might just be holding on to it because they're in that scarcity mindset they don't know how long this whole quarantine situation is gonna last so they're just stockpiling everything that they can that's why you see people going out and buying a bunch of supplies just taking all the toilet paper they see all the canned foods because they have that scarcity mindset but what the smart people are doing right now is basically they're buying all the stocks that they can because right now the market is at a low and I mean that's only temporary eventually it's gonna go back up and those people are gonna be the ones to come out on top so I just wanted to share my thoughts with you guys about having the right mindset and basically how to stop worrying about money or just anything that you're trying to accomplish well hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully it gave you some insight on how you can change your mindset and if you guys enjoyed it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments below what you guys thought about this video oh and before I forget if you guys are interested in learning different methods when it comes to making money online or just motivation in general for entrepreneurs then I invite you to subscribe and also hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when I upload new videos well that's pretty much it for this one so with that being said I'll catch you guys in the next one